a great card. Uh, the prelims delivered. The early prelims delivered more than Ooh. life itself. There was nothing. Not, that was the, oh, I can't even fucking put it into words. Like, the, how many finishes did we get? There was, like, six fights, and I think there was five finishes in on the early yeah. prelims. I think they're all in the first round, though. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five out of six early prelim fights for all finishes. Four TKOs and a sub. It was fucking fire. Euros Medic, the real deal. Nobody can fucking oh, get yeah. the is, real deal. His real shining moment was his after his interview. Yeah, I'm oh, convinced he came to the UFC just to talk to Joe Rogan. <laughs> I was watching him. Buddy. I was watching his buddy, and he was like, "I can't believe this guy is more excited. He just won by knockout in his UFC debut, and he's more excited just to talk to Joe Rogan than he did yeah. like, the fight like that. It was crazy." He had great. He was. He really impressed me. Actually, he just looked calm. He just looked very like professional. Like he's been. He's like he's already been fighting in the UFC for like a couple oh, of years already. Okay. So, some guys just know they belong there, right? And that's the I when I saw him on the contender series and I, I, I just knew like well, I didn't know, but I had a pretty good idea that I was like, This guy's legit and I mean nobody when he was throwing his kicks, like they had fucking power behind them. So like when I, I just yeah. knew that was gonna translate. I didn't know what his skills were on the ground and shit, but I knew that his uh his kicks were gonna translate into, you know, breaking some ribs. Yeah. He had very he's very big for the weight too. Like he's a good size for uh what is it? Is it 155? Yeah, I think he's a lightweight. Yeah, he's yep, like six, he's 155. Like six, he's like 6'1", 155. Like that's, he's got good size. His kickboxing is really well done. Like, you compare the kicks between um, him and, uh, who was the guy you say? Alon Cruz? Yep. Yeah, 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 the, Alan the, Cruz. I think it is Alon, but it's not Alan. Yeah, the difference between, his, uh, like, their striking was, like, once he started throwing kicks, I was like, oh, He's different. Like he's he's on like a different level. And that's against a guy who landed a flying knee on his contender series win. So yeah, like that's it's not like he was just facing some scrub and beat the crap out of him, which you always have to watch out for on the contender series, right? That's why I was kind of nervous. I was like, yeah, he looked great on the contender series, but how many times have we seen dudes get knockouts and then like their whole skill set isn't really there? I think his is though. Almost yeah. every time. Yeah, it's a Pretty lot. Much. Of time. It is, <laughs> it's a lot. But they're good fighters we'll though, but some of them just haven't like developed all the way, and it takes them a few fights before they start uh, start getting on a roll. Uh, Carlos Alba. That's such a. 